Hello YouTube, it's Supernova and today we're looking at the power quadrants in a piston engine aircraft. Piston engines have one or more cylinders. Each cylinder contains a piston which moves forwards and backwards within the cylinder. The piston is connected to a crankshaft by a connecting rod. The crankshaft transforms the reciprocating piston motion into rotation of the propeller. During the intake stroke, the piston moves downwards as air and fuel enters the cylinder through the open intake valve. The intake valve then closes. The throttle controls the amount of air delivered to the cylinders. The manifold pressure gauge measures suction at the intake. Suction is created by the downward motion of the piston in the cylinder. If the throttle is closed, the piston is sucking against resistance and manifold pressure is low. If the throttle is open, airflow is not restricted and manifold pressure is equal to ambient pressure, depending on restrictions in the induction system. Before starting the engine, air pressure is equalised in the engine at ambient pressure. For example, at sea level, average ambient pressure would be 29.92 inches of mercury, and the manifold pressure gauge should also indicate 29.92. Subtract 1 inch per 1000 feet above sea level if airport elevation is below 10,000 feet. At full power on takeoff, you should expect this manifold pressure minus 1 inch. An engine is more efficient if operated at full throttle. If full power is not required during climb or cruise, a lower RPM or a leaner mixture is used. Revolutions per minute or RPM is the number of revolutions the crankshaft makes per minute. The propeller control adjusts propeller blade angle. Blade angle increases as the propeller control is moved towards the high pitch position decreasing RPM as more torque is required to turn the propeller. Blade angle decreases as the propeller control is moved towards the low pitch position, increasing RPM as less torque is required to turn the propeller. Aerodynamic forces drive propellers to the low pitch position. Single engine aircraft use an internal spring to drive the blades to low pitch, with a propeller governor opposing this force. A governor failure therefore drives the propeller into the low pitch position. A full feathering propeller used on a twin uses a feathering spring to drive the propeller to the high pitch position. If the opposing governor fails, the propeller is driven first to the high pitch position and then into feather. The mixture control is used to set the amount of fuel added to the intake airflow. As air pressure declines at higher altitudes, fuel volume is reduced or leaned to maintain the correct fuel air mixture. The perfect mixture requires 15 parts oxygen to 1 part fuel. At a ratio of 14 to 1, some fuel will not burn and the cooler cylinders produce a certain exhaust gas temperature. Leaning the mixture, the ratio is increased to 15 to 1. As more fuel is burned, EGT increases. The ratio is about 15 to 1 when the temperature peaks. If the mixture continues to be leaned, EGT will drop as the ratio of oxygen to fuel increases and the unburned air cools the cylinders. During the compression stroke, the crankshaft continues to rotate and the piston is driven upwards into the cylinder, compressing the fuel-air mixture. As the piston approaches the top of the cylinder, an electric spark between the points of a spark plug ignites the compressed fuel-air mixture which expands as it burns, driving the piston down the cylinder and turning the crankshaft. This is the power stroke. As the crankshaft continues to turn it drives the piston upwards. The exhaust valve opens and remaining burning gases are forced out through it. The exhaust stroke completes one engine cycle. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe.